<laughs> okay this is like really hard for me to do just because I'm not talking to like a friend I'm talking to a camera and I know I talk to myself a lot anyways but when you put a camera in front of you it's like a whole nother ball game um all right and showing you guys what I got from Bali World um, which is a local thrift store in my city um, I spent $135 today and I cannot wait to show you guys what I got so before we get started I want to tell you guys a little bit of my inspiration um, behind buying the pieces that I got um, a lot of it is from kind of the model off duty Parisian kind of LA girl vibe, um, streetwear vibe, especially. That's about it. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll post some pictures in the little wherever to show you guys what I mean. But let's get started before this video is like 30 minutes long and nobody wants to watch it. Um, so let's dive right in. This is the monstrosity of a bag of clothes that I got today. Was I slightly embarrassed walking out of Value World today with it? Yes. Was I really though? No. <laughs> Anyways, um, to start off, I got this muscle tank t-shirt, you know, type of deal I figured I would do what all the girls are doing today and bleaching it and cropping it and just wearing it out um I thought it would be really cute and it was like 89 cents so it was nothing it was nothing to it the next thing I got was this baby tea muscle tank um it's from American Eagle originally. Um, I figured it would be really cute to wear with like some low rise jeans. Um, it's very model off duty esque, just because you've seen probably Bella Hadid, um, Kendall Jenner, Kai Gerber wearing muscle tank tees like this, especially ones from Dior, like Dior Sport Swear and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that was kind of my inspiration behind getting this piece. Um, the next thing I got, oh, I absolutely love this. Okay, this is, uh, it's kind of like a cropped shirt, but it has a V-neck, and then the neckline goes up a little bit higher in the back, so it kind of covers your neck, and then comes down. Um, I thought this was totally hot. Probably something you can wear out to the clubs, you can wear out to lunch if you want to do a little bit of a scandalous lunch time um, with a slick back pony or something like that. I don't know. Very cute. Very, very, very much in style. The next thing I got I'm quite excited about just because it's different. So it's this v-neck with the chains and then it's just a muscle tank. But what I plan on doing is kind of taking it in a little bit on the waistline and then kind of cutting it and cropping it, kind of turning it into a baby tee. Um, maybe I'll do another video on how I make that, which is probably a good idea. Okay. All right. Next thing I got, I've been really getting into neutral tones lately. So all of your browns and beige and tans. So I thought a really cute piece to get would be this really nice brown um, thermal. I know it's summertime and you're saying like, when will you ever wear this? But towards the end of summer, it starts to get a little bit cooler. Um, and even like on the rainy spring days, you could wear this with maybe like a skirt and some shorts or some shorts. Um, kind of layer it with some other t-shirts that you have. The sun is like ridiculous. 
Oof, baby. All right, next thing I got, oh, I hit my elbow. All right. Next thing I got is for t-shirt culture. Um, Blues Brothers t-shirt. I don't even listen to the Blues Brothers, but I know who they are. And all I remember is that um, Drake and Josh dressed up as them for one episode and that shit was funny. So, boom, got it in a t-shirt. <laughs> the next thing I got was this University of Florida t-shirt. What I plan on doing to this is cropping it into a muscle tank. So cutting off the sleeves and cropping it and then maybe taking it in on my waistline as well and then kind of doing a slit down the middle here so that I have a little bit of cleavage showing. Um, kind of make it a little, you know, scandaloso. We love that. Um, oh, this is such a good find. I actually really like this. Okay, so it's a DKNY jeans sweater. Um, it's very stretchy. The sleeves are like those sleeves, they turn into bell sleeves. I said sleeves like four times. But anyways, they turn into bell sleeves as you keep wearing it and they kind of stretch out over your hands and kind of looks like baggy. But this is so cute. Cannot wait to wear. This is what the bottom of it looks like. A little raggedy, a little something something, but it's cute. Getting into this year's trend, sweater vest. Now, when I tell you I went a little bit crazy on the sweater vest, I went a little crazy on the sweater vest. I, why is it when I take off my glasses? The sun wants to come back. Um, but yes, sweater vests have been in a hundred percent this year. I got this one that was originally from Old Navy from the men's section of Valley World. Um, I figured that with this stripe that goes across, it gave me really big nine, late nineties, early 2000 skateboarder vibes. Um, definitely would have seen like Jonah Hill, is that his name? The comedian, right? Jonah Hill? Yeah. You definitely would have seen Jonah Hill wearing something like this when he was younger. Um, and if y'all haven't watched mid-90s, please go ahead and do so. As for my other sweater vests that I bought, I bought about maybe three. No, I just bought two more after that. Um, this one, very cute, I love the cut of this. It's from Polo. Um, so it's big on the sleeves here. It actually got really cute with what I'm wearing now. But yes, these have been totally in style lately. Um, pairing them with tennis skirts, pairing them with biker shorts, pairing them with trousers that are very fitted or in a funky color or pattern. Very, very in style this year for spring to like fall spring or fall i feel like it was more spring but as of now it's really in um next thing i got is this sweater vest this sweater vest was from j crew i especially picked this one up just because it's made with merino wool and merino wool is very nice and very soft very soft so i know i will never get tired of this and I won't feel like I'm itching my skin in it, which is really nice. All right, this next thing I bought, I was really happy that I found it. Um, crazy story, I actually manifested that I would find a tennis skirt, and I did. I absolutely did, in an amazing color too. But will it fit over my fat ass? we are gonna find out soon but if it doesn't it'll be up on my depop for one of you to grab 
Um, on top of that tennis skirt, I found another one that didn't have the same je ne sais quoi as that one had, but this one I knew it was gonna fit me. I just need to tailor it to the max. Um, this is from Talbot's. I think I would need to take it in a little bit at the waist and then shorten it a lot just because this is one that probably reaches below the knee, which is gross. <laughs> um, but yes, this is really cute. Again, really good movement. Um, this one's a little bit thicker, definitely made with some type of wool or cotton. Yeah, 100% wool. So, I'll definitely have to tailor this one and probably only get to wear it in <clears throat> the winter time. Um, the next thing I found was a really good find. I definitely think this will be something that's up on my Depop. Um, it is this denim guest skirt. It is so cute. It has really good eyelet, de blah, 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 eyelet detailing. Um, and then it has the guest patch on the back. And it's a low waistline, so that means it has like no like um, eyelets to put a it has no eyelets to put like a belt around it. So very cool. And then the next thing I got is this Pierre Cardin button down shirt from the men's section. Um, it's really large with really nice sleeves on it. I figured I could turn this into a dress, maybe put some darting on the waistline um, so that it kind of fits me a little bit better. Um, yes. And then I got these shorts. They are just black kind of mid-thigh shorts. Um, I usually check to see if it fits around my neck and these are gonna fit perfectly on my waist um, and hopefully really nicely on my butt. So, love that. And for the last two things that I bought, these were probably my biggest purchases. Look at this marvelous, leather jacket that I found. Oh baby, oh darling. Yes, let the sun grab it. Look how beautiful that is. This definitely was inspired by the model off-duty look with the leather jacket that is more tailored to the body. Um, very 90s, if I have to say. Um, this was my big ticket item that I found today at the thrift store. I just absolutely love kind of like the patchwork that's kind of here with the raw cut and then adding the sleeve onto it. And then the back side is just very nice and tailored to make it look like you have a very nice slim back line. Um, the leather is practically brand new. The inside has this like satin lining that's red and it's beautiful it is just such a good find and even though it was forty dollars i have to say i'm not mad about it just because how good of quality it is and that it's red a lot of them that i've been finding are just black and brown and this one's red so it pops out it stands out of the crowd and this is amazing. This is a great piece. Whew. So that is all for the video. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed that. I definitely did. Going through everything that I bought and spent money on is always a good time. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys like videos like these, I don't mind making more. Um, especially more of my kind of alteration videos. Um, kind of motivates me to to do them if do the alterations if I'm making a video for it so let me know if you guys want to see that peace out